Hello. This time we're going to disassemble uh, Toshiba Satellite Laptop. The model is uh, C850. Uh, the laptop has never been opened before, so we'll disassemble it, change the thermal paste, and clean the fan, of course. So let's start. The first thing you gotta do is remove the battery, but since this one don't have a battery, we are continuing forward. We'll remove the casing here. Uh, like this and remove the hard drive after that we're gonna take this screw out which is holding the optical drive like this and now I'm gonna remove all the screws on the back because it will be much easier to Disassemble it. I won't flip it a couple of times. All the screws are the same size, so you shouldn't be worried about them. This is the boring part, taking off the screws. Now, let's check to see is this plastic coming off or we should dis disassemble the whole laptop no okay after that we just flip the laptop around and we have to take down the keyboard uh, on this model it's on the bottom side I think yeah there is a few clips here so you just slide something sharp and the keyboard should come off now just flip it around and just disconnect the cable like this now we have to remove those screws in order for the back cover to come off on some of the similar models you don't need to remove the keyboard because the whole back cover is coming off but on this particular model we have to do so Now we're going to close it, flip, flip it back again, and this time it should come off, I think.
is something sharp to help the plastic and hmm. did we forget yeah we forgot a screw sorry always double check the screws yeah much easier always when you're opening a laptop tie the screws for the hinges because with the time they are getting very loose and this may cause the plastic to break as you can see this laptop has never been opened before it's very dusty now the thing we gotta do we're gonna remove the screws lift the cooler change the thermal paste and we're gonna reassemble everything back the fan is held by two screws so you have to remove them also they're a little bit longer than the screws on the CPU so you won't get them wrong after that now that's the cooler let's see what's in inside It's quite clean actually. You can see the fan inside. I don't know where, but it's quite dusty. And the thermal paste is quite old, so we're gonna clean everything. We're gonna replace the thermal paste and we're gonna reassemble everything on the reverse. I'll stop the video now because I gotta clean everything, I gotta clean the, the CPU. And that's the boring thing. Basically, after that, you just apply the new paste, put the screws back on the cooler, and put the bottom cover on its place, put all the screws back, and basically that's the whole thing. Hope you like the video. Like and subscribe if you do. Bye-bye for now.